The controversy at the Roosevelt, Minnesota City Council continues. This in from the Northern Light Region newspaper, which learned Monday, November 25th, that Arlen Stewart, Roosevelt Council member and acting mayor of that town since September of 2017, has submitted his resignation effective Friday, November 23rd. Roosevelt Mayor-elect Gerald Lanby received Stewart's resignation letter in the mail on Monday. In stating his reason for resigning from the council, Stewart said in the undated letter, I will no longer put up with the harassment from the general public and the news media. In addition, Stewart stated his intent to keep a key for the city office and claims that many years ago the Roosevelt Arena Association, of which Stewart is a member, was granted permission to use a portion of the building for storage. Stewart also included two bills that were approved for payment at the November meeting, stating in the letter, I assume one once you take office, you will see that they are paid. One bill was for $375 for the food license for the Roosevelt Legion Hall, which is due in January. The other from Stewart's business, Stewart's General Blacksmithing and Welding, in the amount of $50 for labor for cutting a plate of for the sidewalk that was recently installed in Roosevelt. Stewart also informed Landby that the council members who attended last meeting didn't get paid their $30 per meeting wages and said Sheila Friesner, wife of Roosevelt Council member Tim Friesner, also would need to be paid her monthly wage of $75 for keeping track of the rental of the community center. Please send them a check, Stewart instructed. Stewart uh, carbon copied council members of uh, Friesen and Stan DeRozier and Steve Borsdahl in the letter, as well as uh, former city clerk Alice Siatz. Landby said he has spoken to representatives of the League of Minnesota Cities to determine his options to get the bills paid and take care of other city business before he assumes office in January. Stewart and Brosdahl had been designated bank uh, signatories uh, at last month's meeting, but according to Landby, neither of them had uh, been to the bank to instruct them of the change. As a result, uh, the city has no one who was able to sign checks. In addition, the whereabouts of the post office box key for the city remains unknown. As far as Landby knows, the city mail has not been picked up since the resignation of the city clerk in October. Stewart also included in his resignation letter his notes from the November 5th meeting to be entered and stored with the rest of the city documents. The problem is no one is quite sure where those city documents are. I have been told uh, Slats, uh, Siatz had, uh, has the documents at her home, Landby said, but I don't know. I've been told they are not at the City Hall. According to the League of Minnesota Cities, in order for Landby to assume his office a month early and take care of city business, the current City Council would have to formally accept Stewart's resignation and then appoint Landby to act as a mayor until he formally assumes the position in January. The league has also offered a couple names of individuals who could step in as a temporary clerk to assist the city temporarily unto, until a new clerk can be hired. Landby and council members elect David, Dave Palm, Leland Hendrickson, and Mike Nordine met Monday night to discuss the situation and put together some uh, visions that will unify the community according to Landby. We're obviously concerned that these bills aren't getting paid. I'm concerned that I have to seek out all of this information, he continued. I'm willing to meet uh, halfway if there, the uh, current council, is willing to meet me halfway. We understand the importance of educating ourselves uh, for our role as elected officials, said Landby. We have a responsibility to our voters in our community. Stewart appeared in Roseau County Court on Monday morning, November 26th, and pled not guilty to a charge of disorderly conduct that stemmed from an incident at the council's October meeting when he stood over and shout, shouted at reporter Doris Knudsen. His uh, application for a public defender was denied. Stewart's next court appearance is Monday, December 10th. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for PageOnePublications.com.